Dear Rip. I like it when people are polite. Dear, dear, dear Rip. dearest Rip. I've been getting severe pain in the inner elbow from the squat. It's gotten so bad that it completely prevents me from benching. My elbow feels like it'll explode during the bench descent. I switched to doing safety bar squats for a few weeks, and the pain went away completely, and I thought that was the end of it. But it took just a single moderate session of regular squats with 180 kilos or so for the pain to resurface again. What can I do about this? This is interesting for a couple of different reasons. All right? First off, if you're, what you're describing is golfer's elbow. Golfer's elbow is medial epicondylitis, and tennis elbow is lateral epicondylitis. So if your forearms are supine, this is medial, this is lateral. So this is tennis elbow, this is lateral epicondylitis, and this is medial epicondylitis. It's called golfer's elbow. It is an inflammation of the tendon insertions of the forearm flexors. And what typically produces this is an incorrect grip on the squat. It happens all the time. If you, uh, and we've got several videos about the squat grip that you can look up on this website. And uh, we'll tell you how to correctly grip the bar to avoid golfer's elbow. All right. I, there's there's at least three videos about that and an article or two. So I'm not going to go into that here uh, because I've done a much better job with it in the gym with a video about how to grip the bar. What I want to point out is this. He switched to doing safety bar squats for a few weeks, and the pain went away completely. The pain went away completely. But then it took a single moderate session of squats and it came back because the pain went away, but the tendonitis, the tendinopathy did not go away because tendinopathies do not heal with rest. All right. Now this is one of the problems with going to your doctor. All right. Because if you go to your doctor and you tell him that your knee tendon is hurting, He's going to say, well, are you squatting? And you're going to say, well, yeah, yeah, I'm squatting. He's not going to say, well, are you squatting correctly? He's not going to ask you about your knee slide at the bottom of the squat. He's not going to ask you about any of the, any of the germane things to what has created this knee tendon, obviously. He's just going to say, well, quit squatting. And you'll go, well, he is a doctor. Well, after all, he is a doctor. He told me to quit squatting, so you're going to quit squatting, right? And for two years, you're going to have your head up your ass, and you're going to not squat because the doctor told you not to squat. Then one day, you get your head out of your ass, and you think to yourself, you know, I just, I'm just i detrained. I need to start back squatting. You start back squatting, and God damned if your knee pain is not still there. It will be. Because tendinopathies do not heal with rest. Your tendon has changed a little bit. It's changed for the worse. But laying off of it doesn't make a tendon heal up. And I, this is disappointing to me too, okay? But the fact is that you cannot lay off of a tendon injury, tendonitis, tendinosis, all this stuff. You can't lay off of it and have it heal. It won't heal up. You have to fix the mechanical problem that caused the inflammation, that caused the problem, and train through it and make it heal under a load because that's the only circumstances under which the thing will regain normal morphology. And God, I, look, I... It's, want that to not be true as bad as you do, but that's just all there is to it. Uh, you want your golfer's elbow to heal, you're going to have to work it. Uh, the golfer's elbow protocol that we've got and the tennis elbow protocol we've got are basically the same. You're going to do a whole bunch of chins. You're going to do repeated sets, 20 sets of two or three chins. You're going to make the golfer's elbow hurt like hell. 
oh, you know, usually takes about four or five workouts. And then it goes away. You're going to force it to heal. You're going to cause an increase, a temporary increase in the inflammation in the, in the affected structure. And that temporary increase in inflammation, inflammation being the way things heal up, causes the inflamed tendon to go ahead and go through the inflammatory cascade and heal itself up. And we've used this chin-up protocol with people for a long time, and it works very, very well. And uh, to, to address your specific situation here that's how you're going to deal with that look that up on the website i've talked about it several times okay this is david